I mean, well, what have you seen, Kevin? Ohio State poses a lot of issues. News, yeah, newsflash, right? Pardon? Uh, newsflash, Ohio State poses a lot of yeah, issues. Yeah, absolutely. No, they're, they're, they're extremely talented. You know, I think uh, they understand who they are and, and how they need to, to, to go win games. You know, I think they're going to they're gonna highlight the players that are, are, are highly touted, and, and as they should. You know, I think obviously number 18 is a really good football player, and, and they try to find, they find ways to get him the ball early and often. And then they got to divvy it up among the other guys, you know. So I think it's you can't just pinpoint one because they got a bunch of them, you know. So I think if, if we go out there and and our, you know our job as a defense is to get the ball down and play again, you know. I think that's got to be our, our our battle cry this week is get the ball down. Let's let's limit these big plays and and make them earn it, you know. And um, but you know I think they're well coached uh, and, and they make things where they find ways to get the players the ball. And, and that's what we have to understand is where are these where are these guys at at all times and, and having an awareness of it. I think some of Ohio State's running backs maybe get forgotten about just because of the wide receivers and things like that. What challenges do they pose? Yeah, you know, I don't forget about them. I don't know if you guys do, but I don't. <laughs> uh, you know, I think, you know, they're fast, they're physical, and they're big, you know. So I, you can't just go in there and hit them and expect them to go down. You know, so, and, and they're not running away from contact either. So they're going to try to run through you, and, and they're going to try to get every yard they can. And I think uh, – and there's like three or four of them. You know, it's not like they just got one. You know, I think uh, – I've heard Henderson's playing again, so we got to expect him to be out there and ready to go. And, and if he gets tired, then they send in number 19. And if he gets tired, they send in number three. And those are guys are like bowling balls coming at you, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we got to be physical. I and mean, that's just the name of this. You're in the Big Ten. This is what you got to do. This is what you got to be. And, and we have to tackle. We got to run our feet. We can't be diving at people this week. And that's been a point of emphasis. So, you know, we got to do a good job of, of just playing physical football. Just a couple of mistakes against Iowa, and it was, you know, two big plays basically. Was it really that close to if we just perfect a couple plays a game, we're right where we need to be. Yes, yeah, that's kind of been our MO, man. If we can, we're one play here, two plays there. If we, if we get guys doing what they're supposed to be, do and, and, and execute and, and we coach them better, I think we have, we're going to be a very good defense, you know. And, you know, I think <laughs> you look at the stat sheet, they had, you know, from last week, and, you know, you, you, you look at that and you're saying, man, we won that game, you know. We made a pretty good defense. We got some takeaways and field goals. And, and uh, so our guys, our guys are believing in what we're doing, which is good, you know. And uh, if we can eliminate those mistakes, then you know the sky's the limit, I think, for this defense. And and the leadership has proven to kind of step up, and and guys are taking accountability for what they're doing and holding guys accountable, which is all part of the building process. And just talk about um, Derek Rogers, kind of getting thrust into starting role as a true freshman. His development, I know, when he got here, he, he had to gain a lot of weight and. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know you guys think a lot of him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude does something else, man. He pushes me every day. We're going to fight one of these days. I don't know when, but he catches me on that bad moment. Look out, you know. But, but he's got that kind of mentality about him, you know. So he's got a, a fearless, you know what, I'm going to do my deal. This is what it is. And, and, and that's kind of the mentality you have to have as a corner, you know. So you got to forget the good ones, and you definitely got to forget the bad plays. So he's, you know, he's long. He's athletic. You know, he's got great ball skills. He's, a, he's really an, a, an athlete coming out of high school, played a lot of offense. So. Uh, and he's kind of took an akin to, to, to Coach Carter and, and almost become a leader in that room in a sense, you know. So, you know, he's got a very strong personality. Uh, he's got a lot of fun in him too, you know, and, and I'm excited. You know, I think he's, he's ready for this challenge because because of his, his outlook on everything. You know, he's, he's the alpha. You know, he wants to be really good. And we got some good young freshmen that are very similar to that, you know, where they're, the stage ain't too big, you know, and they're going to make mistakes and, and they're going to have their issues, but you know what? They're going to be, they're going to fight while doing so. So if we can do that, we'll have a chance. How pivotal, I guess it is every week, the pass rush to throw off the timing, especially against those receivers. Absolutely, yeah, and especially this week, right? You know, if we can if we can disrupt the timing and get them off the spot, I think uh, you know I think that'll buy time for our guys to, to, to cover and do stuff. I think, and the guys up front relish that fact. I think, and they know that. They know they have to be able to, to, to attack the quarterback and. And that's part of the plan this week is how can we how can we hit harass and confuse the guy? You know, I think the more the more stuff we can do to, to, to make that picture cloudy for that quarterback, the the, 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 the harder it's gonna be for them. So I think it's it's gonna be fun for those guys. This would be the first time you faced Ohio State, right? Uh no, I when I was at Wisconsin when I was a G at Wisconsin, I played them twice. I uh, lost there once and beat them. They were number one team in the country, we beat. Dylan. Sorry, cut you off. Dylan uh, got his second honor of the year just how much have you seen him progress and improve um, since game one? Yeah, he's he's always he's a con like again these freshmen man. I tell you what, they're, they're the consummate professionals right now, you know. So they're 
they're going to work and they, every day it's a, it's a new day. They don't, they don't look back at what they did. It's always about what, how can they work and get better from, from what they've done. So it's, he comes in and he studies film and he practices the right way. He's, he just does things that like, you don't have to tell him twice he's going to get it done. And that's, that's, you know, a credit to him again. Like that, that's how he was raised. That's how he's always played the game. That's how he's attacked this, this, that position since he's gotten here. And, and that has not changed. Some of the, sometimes you see kids kind of see their name in the, in the limelight and they're like, mm -hmm. okay, they relax. He doesn't do that. You know, he just continues to put his head down and work. And that's kind of the Boilermaker mentality here, man. We just got to go out and work. Graham talked yesterday about when he was in his college playing days and when you're at Texas Tech, he always felt like you're the little brother when you played Texas, when you played Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. I know you've been in that situation, but what is it about rising to the occasion when you get those marquee games like in Ohio State where it's like, hey, this is yeah. a chance to go out and make a name for ourselves? You know, it's like, I've always, uh, a, a, a guy that I met a long time ago always said, like, you don't, you never rise to the occasion, you just fall back on your training, you know? So I think for us right now, it's like, hey, we're playing Ohio State, that's awesome, that's great, you know? and. But if we just do our, if we just kind of, the fundamentals got to be perfect, right? Everything's got to be where we need to be. And, and as long as we get the ball down, that's kind of what we've been stressing. You know, I'm like, like we're not, Ohio State's got a very, you know, prestigious, you know, history. They're a great football team, but, you know, they're just, they're, they're just like us. You know, they put their, their pants on one leg at a time. They do all that stuff too. So we just got to go out there and do our stuff, you know, and, and have confidence about what we got going. And if we do that and, and, and don't overhype it with these guys, I think we just got to go out and play. And it's one of your 12 guaranteed games. So why, mm -hmm. why would you why would you shy down and be scared of it? You know. So let's let's have fun with it. You know, the pressure's on them. Let's go out there and let's play. Is this the game where your schedule thus far benefits you because you've seen a little bit of everything now? I think so. I think so. You kind of figure out like, we're halfway through the season and mm -hmm. and we've kind of adjusted. All right, who are we? All right, what's our personnel and. And how do we have to to, 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 to make the, the right adjustments based on that personnel? So I think, you know, seeing all the different types of offenses we've seen, you know, we've seen the two back stuff, we've seen the empties, we've seen everything, you know. So it's and guys have, have have done really well, you know, considering, you know, it's just it's just, now it's just going out and making the and executing the plays, you know, and uh, you know, and they're going to pose their issues this week, but I think we'll be ready for it.